everybody, welcome back to Life on the Rim with me, Reinstein. We're in Alpha 12, and uh, this is the vanilla playthrough with you guys as the subscribers, as you already know. If you're new, welcome, thank you for joining me, and hopefully you'll enjoy this playthrough. Now, what we have to deal with now is a heat wave which has just struck. So, that being the case, I'm going to pause the game and focus on getting some more coolers put in. We've got a cooler here, but obviously it's not working as well because electricity has run out. So, first of all, let's go and put another cooler in. Now, I'm going to put one cooler here, I think. And then we need a vent running through to the rest of the rooms, which we can't actually have because we need this mind and this mind. We'll just get that a little bit mined for now. I'm going to wake Reinstein up. Reinstein can't do mining. All right, well, when they wake up, I'll get them to focus on it. And uh, then hopefully we'll maintain their coolness. Now, I do need to keep an eye on the temperature outside. Could get pretty darn hot. So, who can we get mining? Elfwyn, you're still asleep. You're sleeping out there. This is why I want this bit mined, so I can build another bedroom. But for now, I want you to focus on mining that. So, wakey, wakey, chap. In you come. Now, I think I should put a door here, because it's taking them ages to get around. So, let's put a door in. Structure. What should we make it out of? Sandstone, I think. Sandstone block door. Put that there. Put another one there as well, so they can get in. Elfwyn is now coming to help. Odie, can you do mining as well? Oh, you can actually build the cooler, so that's pretty neat. Gonna get you working on that then, rather than doing the hydroponics for now. Now, we just survived a raid in the last episode, which was quite a large one, but uh, nothing we couldn't handle. We've got mi minor, if any, injuries, a few bruises, nothing really to worry about. Uh, Elfwyn, can you focus on working on this door, please? Yeah, it's taken them a while to walk around, see, across all these um, solar panels. Oz, if you can focus on mining this sandstone out of the way, we can get another vent put in. So, we just need to put a wall there. We'll make it out of wood, I think. And then we can, then we can put the vent in, because you can't put vents on unmined uh, walls. So, there we go. Elfwyn's putting in the door. Beautiful work, my friend. And... Hopefully someone's going to build that door. Let's see, Mr. Pin, what are you up to? You're building the cooler. Okay, that's fine. And you're also building that. Chloe's now finishing off the cooler. Good. And how's the temperatures indoors? So indoors is 38 degrees. We need to get this second cooler up and running. So in the bedroom, it's 40 degrees. Wow. Okay, that next cooler's built, so let's reduce the temperature. Put it down to like minus nine. It will draw more power. Put this one down to minus nine as well. But hopefully its cooling effectiveness will increase. Let's see, indoors, it's 31 now. And we need to get someone to mine this bit here. Oz, if you'll wake up, please, and just mine that out of the way, we can build another vent. Actually, we probably don't even need a vent for now. Poor mood, dumber. All right. Now, this electricity is really concerning me. We are filling up gradually, but these solar panels are not doing a good enough job. Our geothermal generator still needs the power line connected, so we're not getting any electricity from that right now. I'm hoping everyone's going to work hard before we get our next raid. So indoors is still 35 degrees. Wow, 34 over there. Maybe we need another cooler. I think I'll put one over here. Um, let's go temperature, get another cooler put in there. Who can work on that? So Chloe's chopping down a tree to build the power line. That's good. Mickey D, what about you? Will you go and build this? You will. Lovely. Thank you. And hopefully the temperature's not too bad. Still 40 degrees. Outdoors is 52. Damn. I need to get people to just stay indoors. This is ridiculous. Um, let's go to... Da -da -da -da. Zone. And... Hang on. I've lost my way. Restrictions. There we go. That's what we want. So home, area one, area two. That's what I'm going to focus on. I actually need to increase the size of area two so they're allowed to use this bedroom as well. So let's go here. Zone, expand allowed area, area two. We'll make it so they can use that bedroom. There we go. Now, hopefully, once they're all indoors, that should be a lot better. Mickey D, you're going to get roasted out there, man. 53 degrees. Heat stroke, serious. Damn it. I do not want to lose anyone to heat stroke. 
Stay indoors, people. Actually, the animals, too, will probably suffer, so let's get them to stay inside this animal area. And in there is 52, so I want to decrease the size of that animal area. So, that's animal area 1. So, expand. Not expand, so clear allowed area. There we go. Let's clear that. So they're going to stay indoors in the cool as well. I think it's for the best. Oh, God. Mickey D's gone berserk. Oh, no. This could cause problems. Lizzie, you're on it. Melly, attack Mickey D. We can't allow you to bring down the colony. Everyone, get on it. Mickey D's trying to attack in too late. Hell no. This is subscriber on subscriber killing. There we go. Mickey D is taking some pounding, but he's dead. Or not dead, but we sorted him out. There we go. Rescue Mickey D. Good job. Elfwin, you're back doing whatever you want to do, as long as it's indoors. And although it's 39 degrees indoors still, it's actually better than it is outside. So if, if I take a quick look at this, slow it down a second. If I lower this even more, will its cooling efficiency increase? Let's click on it. So you can see it only cools down this area. This cools down this area. Hopefully that vent will... Have I got my vents placed around the right way? Or the wrong way, maybe. Or maybe there is no right or wrong way. It's 39 degrees in there. 39 degrees here. God, blimey. Everyone's going to get roasted. Mr. Pin, you're shearing the alpaca. Sweet. Heat stroke initial. I'm hoping this isn't so hot that they're going to die. I may need someone to get this second cooler built. Hunter lacks a weapon. Colonist needs treatment. Oh, blimey. For heat stroke, I suppose. Oh, no, it's for the fighting they were involved in. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so Oz, how's your health? Initial heat stroke. So, temporarily then, I'm going to allow you outside to go and finish off this cooler. That's an imperative. Let's speed that up. Come on, Oz, quickly, quickly. Grab all the steel you can get. How's his health? Initial heat stroke. So at least it's night, getting night time now, so it's a bit cooler. 41 degrees. Ugh, we've been dealt with toxic buildup. Ah, damn it, Oz. Wakey, wakey, build that thing. Are we getting electricity now from this? I think we are. Okay, how's Liz's health? Bruises. You're fine. Mickey D, how's your health? Heat stroke serious, so I'm going to get you to wait in the hospital bed. And that still needs finishing. Where's Mr. Pin? Mr. Pin! We don't need you to work on clothes. Come on, mate. Cannot. Ah, okay. So, you're not allowed there. Where's Oz? Consuming a simple meal. No time for consuming simple meals. Build this. Go. Yes, wonderful. Now we've got another cooler, so this should help us immensely. Let's make that really cool. So indoors here is 34. And temperature here is 34. Good, it's dropping. Thank, thank F for that. <laughs> Biddy producing food like a boss still. Good man. Alright, so now we need to set Oz's restriction to indoors again. So he doesn't get any worse um, heat stroke. Actually, you know what? We haven't really got time or food for these prisoners either, so I might send them back. So where are they from? Let's go to prisoner release. Doug, we've had him for ages. Let's release him. And Ergo, release them. That'll have the added bonus of increasing our relations with these people. That's it. Send them outside, mate. Into the heat. 55 degrees outside now. Can you imagine what that's like in real life? You would absolutely melt. Damn. Colonists idle. Well, to be honest, I don't mind. Just stay indoors. Keep cool. Over here, temperature's 38 still. Whew. Now, do I not have enough coolers? What's the problem here? Why is everything... Why are they all still so hot? Relations with Semra of Prairie Dog have improved by 15. Excellent. And another 15. Cool. So let's take a look at our factions. Semra of Prairie Dog. Minus 57 now. That's not so bad. 
Come on, solar panels, be more effective. Oh, cool, we built another sculpture. So, we could trade that eventually when someone comes along to trade with. Or I could put it inside here, but nah. Do you know what? These people who are idle, I could set them to mining. So, who have we got? We've got Oz. So, let's put you on mining as well. Oz, Liz, Entule, and Chloe. So, Oz, Liz, Entule, and Chloe. So, now while they're just bored, they can do some mining. Sort this area out, because this definitely needs mining. And once that's gone, we can build our new bedroom. Why are you all idle, you lazy blighters? Let's check on my... Maybe it's the zoning. Expand allowed area. Ah, uh, it is. Okay, so here we go. Expand this, and then they'll be able to do the mining. Beautiful. And we can also increase our hydroponics lab as well if we wanted to. So this is indoors. Yeah, good. That's it. Look at that. Everyone mining like pros. And we're also getting some steel from it. Brilliant work, everyone. Let's mine that little blob out of the way for tidiness sake. And that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. And there's some more steel here as well. Good, good. So... Liz and Chloe are still idle. Not to worry. So I could actually mine out some more of this. There's some good steel here. Let's do that while they've got nothing else to do. Don't want to mine it so it's open to the elements. So let's just mine a little bit. Oh, sounded like a fire. Look at all the electricity going down. Damn it. We get a solar flare now, we're screwed. Could be a solar flare when there's a heat wave, you never know. Oh, what's Mickey D doing? Making more sandstone blocks. That's cool. And one colonist is idle, Mr. Pin. So, what can we get you doing, Mr. Pin? Cooking, handling, hunting. Constructing, plant cutting, tailoring maybe? Maybe you'd like to do some more tailoring. Ah, Mr. Pin's doing the blocks now. That's fine. Uh, uh, uh. So how's the temperatures doing? Indoors 35 degrees, outdoors 42. Starvation? What? Spidster! There's food here, mate. Go and get some food. Consume that meal. We are running out of food, though. Might have to let Oz out again. How is everyone's temperature doing? They're not too hot now. That's... Whoa! Hey, heat stroke serious. What? What about Chloe? Chloe can farm as well. Ah, she's fine. All right, let's go to restrictions then. Chloe can go out and get some food. I'm restricted. Because everyone is getting starving. Whoa, look at that muffalo corpse. Yeah, it's all bones. Come on, Chloe. Wakey, wakey. Poor mood. Oz and Odie. Let's check out what the problem is. Needs starving. Yeah. I know, guys. So, Oz, you grab the food then. Why are you not grabbing the food? Oh, yeah, let's go to zone. Expand the loud area. They are allowed to go and get... Ah, oh, they're not allowed to go and get food. Aha! There we go. Now you are. Help yourselves. Eat, you beasts. That'll keep you going a bit longer. Now, who was the guy who lost his... Uh, Rifle. Who was the one who went mad? Was it Mickey D? Where's Mickey D gone? Yeah, it was you. I knew it, you troublemaker. Go and grab your rifle back. Chloe. Where's Chloe gone? Ah, oh, Chloe, you're chopping that down. Screw that. Go get food. Get some potatoes. What are you doing? You're chopping. Okay, so let's go to work. Chloe. Plant cut. Not too bothered about that right now. Although, actually, we do need her to finish that plant cut so we can finish off this power conduit. Aha! Uh -huh. Here we go. Now she's finished. No, Chloe. No mining. Grabbing food, please. Where have you gone? There you are. Let's see if you go and do it now. So the heat wave's still here. Outlaws 56 degrees. Damn it. What's the hottest you've, you guys have ever experienced on this game? I think 56 is probably about the highest I've ever seen. Hauling limestone. No. Growing and plant cutting, please. Oh, there is food there, though. What about I get her to do some hauling of this corn? Prioritize hauling 22 corn. That's it. Haul it indoors. A little bit of micromanagement necessary here, guys, so I can keep you all alive. 50 degrees. Chloe's got initial heat stroke. That 
corn should do us good for a little while, right? Yeah. There's some in the nutrient paste dispenser. That's fine. Yeah. Now put some more in there. I, w I wonder if um, Spiddy could make meals out of that. I'm not sure. Yeah, he can. Good. He could just make a simple corn meal. That's fine. Elfwin face planted down there. <laughs> oh yeah, now we can build another bedroom. Excellent. So, uh, let's go to structure, wooden wall. Finally get Elf in his bedroom that he's been angling after for ages. Poor blighter. Furniture, wood bed. There we go. Get him a little plant pot put in there as well. And a little light. And maybe some flooring. What kind of flooring do you think Elfwin would like? Let's see. I'm going to give him a dark carpet. There we go. Joe, I want this bit mined there as well, because that's in the way. Let's get that mined. Eventually we can have it all floored off as well, make it look all beautiful. There we go. Heat wave's still here, 45 degrees. So, Chloe, I might get you to haul some more food in. Prioritise hauling that. Just to keep everyone going, really, because I don't know how long this heat wave's going to last. And I can see this also gives my people a chance to try and tame the animals more as well, which is nice. There we go. Reinstein working on another sculpture. Good man. Look at all these animals. It's weird having a buffalo inside your base. <laughs> There's loads of food here now. Look at that. Nine meals, ten meals. Good, good. It's not enough to feed my colony for too long, considering we have, what, ten colonists now? Blimey. It's increasing by the day. Yeah, let's go here. Get another bit of wall put in there and there. Chloe is focusing on building the bedroom for Elfwin. Yay! So let's set this as Elfwin's bedroom now, so he doesn't have to sleep outside anymore. Temperature indoors now is 36. I would still find that incredibly uncomfortable, but... Oh, God. A local Boomaloop has gone mad. I hate Boomaloops. I bet he's going to blow up one of my freaking turrets. Here he is, running across the map. We'll hear an explosion if we if uh, he comes too close and gets blown up. Reinstein sleeping in the fridge. Right. Set this to a normal bed, so... We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have got ten bedrooms. And I see that one there is missing a light. So let's put a light in there. Oh, Mr. Pin. What are you doing? Are you sleeping? No, the muffalo's sleeping. Mr. Pin is now doing research. Cool. Just remind ourselves what we're researching. Electric smelting. Oh, Lizzie's talking to the hare. Reinstein's taken over now. Ah, oh, there's another um, small sculpture. Superior. Ooh, fancy. Mr. Reinstein's got some skills now. Okay, this is set to minus 19. So the temperature in there is now 10 degrees. Whoa. Ah, oh, because we need another vent put there or there. Darn it. And we can make it cooler. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's put a vent there and a vent there, I think. Hopefully that should work. I'm not sure, this this hydroponics thing might be in the way. Is it in the way? Doesn't say. Indoors, 15, 18. Hmm. Yeah, pirate merchant, cool, let's talk to him. In too late, how's your phone skills? So we can sell these things. And medicine is still way expensive. So let's leave that. I kind of want some beers. Let's get some beers. Have we got hops in here? No, just hay. All right. I'll pack a hide. Ooh, these need repairing. Has that heat wave gone yet? Outdoor 17. I think it must have. Watch out for heat stroke. It looks like it's gone. So indoors, it's now 10 degrees. So let's start adjusting the temperature of these things. Uh, we need to increase it by about, put it up to what, 19? 19 is quite a nice temperature indoors, right? There, 19, 
19 on that one, and then got one more over here, so we want it plus 19. There we go, everyone is air conditioned and happy. So now we can go to restrictions, set everyone back to unrestricted, and we safely survive the um, heat wave, which is awesome. Good, good, our batteries are now filling up with more electricity. Mr. Pin repairing our turrets. You know what, we could even add another turret there now. More firepower will leave us safer. So let's put another one there. Off when you're visiting the graves. <laughs> Does that give you enjoyment? Let's see. Feeling terrible wearing tattered apparel. Sorry. Let's check your clothes then. Uh, oh, the duster's not in good shape at all. There we go. But now you're wearing just a tribal shirt. Ooh. How, how are these clothes? They're all in a bit bad state though, aren't they? Cloth jacket. Maybe this place needs to be, like, kept cool. But I'm going to give Elfwyn some nice trousers there. Oh, no, the camel hair pants are even better. Let's give you those. And maybe a wag fur t-shirt. Although that's not quite that great. Poor mood. Lizzie. What's the matter, Lizzie? Cramped environment. Cabin fever. Feeling terrible. Worn out apparel. Eh. Yeah, let's get some more steel. Steel you always need pretty much for, for most things you build. So, as I said earlier, we are actually running out a little bit.